All right, guys. <clears throat> My voice is still gone, but um, I'll talk a little quieter. So I'm painting my drum set. This is the old paint. And uh, I'm taking all the hardware off. Hey, big up to Stephen Hawking. Poor guy. I miss you, buddy. Uh, hopefully you can bend space and time. Come back. But who knows? Uh... I haven't slept for two days because I've been gigging, so I'm getting a little esoteric. Um, but I have everything stripped. I've sanded some of the stuff. Um, I have a couple test coats right now. This is looking so, so good. Um, really cool. And then here's the uh, white. Going with Arctic flat white. And here's all the hardware. I'm kind of cleaning it. And um, I'm so undecided on, on whether or not to paint the, the chrome hoops. Um, I don't know yet. I'm going to have to see how it all looks in combination together. Right now I'm thinking I'm going to paint them, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, so... Pretty cool project. I'm, I'm really getting excited because that white just looks so good. I've always wanted white drums. And, um, so why don't you just paint the ones you got? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So I moved to the back and uh, continuing this rehab project. And I just found out what I'm going to do. Make a candy cane uh, swirly stripe on it. I think it's going to be badass. I might sound crazy, but I think it's going to be dope. And uh, I noticed I got some extra Bondo working on cars. So uh, I'm going to fill, I think, some of these spots after I sand it. They're pretty dinged up, pretty bad. So uh, I'm going to do it right. Uh, these rims are really bad. Uh, yeah, and there's some real deep dings in the in the kick there. But uh, I'm just going to sand away. I'm just waking up. So uh, just a little sanding in the morning you know, always gets me going. All right. All right, guys, this is my favorite part. Painting. I love painting. Let's start with the little one. <sighs> nice, light first coat. Don't blow your load off the front. taping the rims off. I just I don't care. That's pretty good. I mean, that, that, that should be a first coat. You know, you, you, you want to paint more, but you're like, no, I'm going to paint another coat. You know, that drum in the, it, uh, for reference, that's only three coats on that one, that little one. So, that's white. Uh, you don't want to overdo it. I mean, it's not a problem to, but, you know, I don't know, paint, you know, nothing's free, uh, so I guess the less you can do to do the job, the better. Uh, I'm just making sure this shell's nice and clean, nice and clean. I'm not going to bond to it. I just thought, you know, once I put the stripe on it, nobody's going to see it, and it's going to get dinged up. It's going to get dinged up again. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to the battle. It's not going, you know, in a museum. Oh, that is satisfying. Wow, look at that. You've got to use a primer. This stuff is great. I'm not hawking these guys or anything, but uh, just get yourself a two-time, you know, cover plus primer. It's really good stuff. Oh. 
Clean as the driven snow. Dude, this is gonna look badass. Oh. Yeah, that was a hard part. Wait. Not have to wait long. Give it 10 minutes. Make sure my tarp's not going to blow away. Alright guys, it really hasn't been 10 minutes, but yeah, I get a little, get a little on myself. I want to go make some coffee, so I'm going to throw this other coat out. I had to put some extra weights on my tarp. This is a big point. You know, we got these tarps. They tend to blow away, and then they blow right into your project. And then your project gets a bunch of marks on it. I almost kind of did on that side, but we're not going to talk about that side. All right, here we go. Beautiful there, hey, wow. Mm. Yeah, how easy does it. It's real easy to fill it all in. Paint. Oof, even outdoors, man. Those paint beams probably should wear off something or other. 